It's time! It's a heavyweight showdown between Bruce Lee and Rustam Khabalov. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 24 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Rustam Tiger Avila. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on this play tonight. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the back. In the single collar side of the transition. Nice scramble. Big punch lands through the middle. Big head kick lands. Oh, a little single.
single collar tie there. Oh, knee to the head. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Havala. He's back to push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Real sneaky body kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he engages in a single power tie here. Huge knee lands in play. That's a good strike right there. Oh, big knee. Throwing hard in the pocket. Oh, big elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie now. Nice kick. Kabbalah's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice loop and punch. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Oh, collar tie. Lee's kick is blocked. Nice head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He loaded up on that right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Great punch. Again, in the clinch. Uh, single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. There he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, man, head to lands. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 20 seconds to go. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after a gun and blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, a 
nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, nice jab. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Right hook to the head block. Got the single collar tie. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Kabalov's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, big punch lands. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Oh, nice straight there by Lee. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Nice punch lands over the top. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, elbow to the head in the clinch. That one landed flush by Kabbalah. Big power shot there. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's gonna throw his knee. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, and he connects there pretty nice. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Try to establish that jab. Right here. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, that knee strike attempt blocked by Lee. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Right at the elbow. Body keep playing. Good punch, Lance. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Yet again, they will clinch here. Nice diversity in the attack. Single collar That's tie now. Scramble right there. Beautiful transition. He throws every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at dip. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. He might get a finish here. Oh, beautiful counter there as he gains the side mount and try to get out of this guillotine by potentially attempting a Von Flu. Wow. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. 
try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Great punch landed with so much power. And DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place. To you be. have got to free one arm. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free and then start building towards doing something else. But the first step is to get a arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Kabbalah. Lees has got full mount now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, he's got his back now. Two minutes to go in the round. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. He's got his back again. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Lee's right back to the full mount here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Kabbala. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Kabbala. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom 
here by Kabalo. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Kabalo. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. I need you to start attacking his jab. He's hiding behind that jab, okay? Counter right hands, whatever you want to do. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over, and gladly, Gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. Ready? Ready? Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. I mean, he's cutting down the side with his beautiful leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice kicks there by Lee. Misses with the right hand. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet. All right, so a nice. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound. Oh, he's got to get it going, but that's it. That is it. He got him. What a fight. I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And here once more, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 51 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.